Greetings and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Karina from the Boho Abode and today's video is all about this dresser that you see here behind me. If you saw my one week room makeover video, you'll know that I made over my kiddo's room in just seven days. And one of the projects that I took on was sourcing and painting this dresser. And in that video, I promised a dedicated video all to that project. And that's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you the process of painting the dresser, what steps I took, what products I used. And I do wanna give a big thank you to Velvet Finishes because I did partner with them on this project and I did that because I love their products. So let's jump into the footage. All right, so if you've been with me before on any of my previous Velvet Finishes furniture paint videos, you'll know the first step is the ready spray. And so this will spray down the entire piece where paint is going to be applied and this preps it for the next step, which is color. And this dresser is getting painted Tranquil, which is a really beautiful teal paint. And this is per my child's request. He is so excited to have a teal dresser in his room and I'm excited to give that to him. And then once the piece is fully painted, we go in with the Protect which is, as the name suggests, a protective layer that protects it from any everyday dings that can occur with regular use of a piece of furniture. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything sprayed down and then we are going to get to the exciting part, which is applying the paint. needs to sit for about 30 to 45 seconds and then you wipe it off with a rag and because of how much I've had to spray where I started has already been sitting longer than that so I'm going to jump right in and start wiping the pieces down from where I started working down to the last drawer that I sprayed <music> ready to move on to the fun step which is color and color is the paint step of the velvet finishes furniture paint system so like I said I'm doing the color tranquil which is a teal color but they do have a variety of different colors and different undertones so there's something cool out there for every room so the reason why I love the velvet finishes furniture paint is because this stuff is so easy to use you really don't have to worry about which way your brush strokes are going because it is self leveling. So all of those brush strokes are going to disappear. It's also ultra fast drying, which is great. I can be working on my second coat half an hour after I've applied my first, which makes it really great for quick weekend projects. I don't have to wait a day before I'm worrying about another layer. I really can get the piece up and going super quick. So. I'm going to start painting this piece. I'm going to start with the main part here and then I'll move on to the drawer fronts. So as you can see, that first coat of paint is on the dresser and I'm so excited. It's such a pretty color. As you can see, I don't think I've ever been more excited for one of my kiddos design choices. Well, actually, he makes a lot of really good design choices. So I can't actually say this one is my favorite, but it's definitely one of the top three because I'm just in love with the color. All right, so the first coat is fully dry now and I wanted to quickly show you what that looks like. So here's one of the smaller drawers and you can still see the wood finish through the color, but it's fully smooth. You can see the light shining on that there. There's no texture from the brush strokes at all. So now it is time for the second coat. I don't know if I'll need a third yet, so let's go ahead and get the second coat done and then I will check back in to let you know if I need a third.
second coat of paint is now fully dry and it is so close to being perfectly opaque. There's really just a couple of spots where the wood tone is still shining through just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and give everything a quick third coat and then we're going to move on to the final step. Once the piece is painted, you have a few different options with velvet finishes. They do have three different enhancements that you can use, and that's a glaze, a gel, and metallic. And those just enhance the piece. You can use them to emphasize details, to add details, those kinds of things. I'm not going to be doing that with this piece because I want it to just be the pure teal tranquil color. So I'm going to be skipping ahead to the protect step. And this is, like I said earlier, a protectant. I'm going to be painting this mostly on the top of the piece and the drawers and around the drawers. Since that's where the piece is going to be getting most of its wear and tear and where I need the extra protection for the paint. So I'm going to grab a small paintbrush and go ahead and apply a thin layer of this. watch this video. Before you go, please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos from me and give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. I hope you have a wonderful day and I can't wait to chat with you again soon. Bye!